couple of years ago, I made a promise to someone and I thought, this could be the year that I actually get to deliver. And lo and behold, COVID-19 comes along and they cancel the Logies. The person I'm talking about is Natalie Sady. Natalie, I had promised you an opportunity to go to the Logies, but they've cancelled them in Australia. I heard, and this seems to be a theme in my life, George. <laughs> yeah, no, Brownlow Medal once upon a time, now the Logies. What's next? How are you coping in the States? You know, it's interesting, and I feel, I feel that I'm living through a moment in history. I know that um, there are moments in time that define us and define the history of the world. And I feel that I'm living in a time warp, but I am actually able to be present for something that will change the way we function as a world, both because of COVID and the riots. So it's interesting. I'm just trying to stay safe and um, get through it like everybody else. What's the flavour in LA at the moment um, following the Black Lives Matters protests that have gone around the world? Um, so during it, it was, it was very scary to um, be watching and watching things unfolding a suburb away from me. Thankfully, I've been very fortunate that the area I live in is very safe. We had the National Guard here, but we didn't actually have any riots or anything like that. We did have everything boarded up for about a week. You couldn't sort of get into places and the few places and the stores that remained open, they would pull the boards down just off the main entrance during operating hours, but they were ready to put them back up if they needed to at a moment's notice. Everything has really quietened down. Um, with that being said, though, there was a uh, protest in my area today and I'm all for Black Lives Matter and I stand with the cause and think it's so important that this is happening right now. However, today's protest was about um, how the wealthy need to give their money over to everybody else. Got it. Got it. So, I'm not sure how that fits in with yeah. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> uh, now, tell me something. You and I are very much uh, television people. You, of course, started your career at, uh, on The Bachelor. Uh, mm -hmm. So you understand reality television. Uh, has Hollywood, this, this, this um, wonderful um, uh, factory of, of uh, both motion pictures and television programs, is that, has that got back to work yet? Not yet. So uh, there are certain counties within um, California that you are able to shoot in a game. But LA County itself, which really encompasses most of Hollywood and the industry, we're not allowed to film anything. So Everything is still so, shut down. So if we're waiting for our series, or the second part of our series, it's going to be a long wait. It really is, um, and you can see that they're running out of content because there are some uh, bad reality shows that I really <laughs> love watching. Okay, Look, tell me something. It is what it is. Yesterday, yesterday, Carl Rayner, one of the great uh, uh, comedic talents of the United States mm -hmm. and a filmmaker and a producer, passed away at the age of 98. Uh, the guy he used to have dinner with every night for the better part of the last 50 years was Mel Brooks. Have we heard oh, whether Mel what has recovered? Have we heard how Mel has taken the news? I haven't heard anything, but after I saw the news about the passing of Carl Reiner, I actually jumped online and ordered Mel Brooks's biography. And I'm desperately waiting for that to arrive because I love him, um, but I'm not sure how he's coping. Okay, so what are you doing? What's the next challenge for uh, Natalie Sady? So I'm in the process of starting my own production company. Uh, it is not up and running yet. However, there is a very big plan for what will take place once everything opens up and we're able to film. So currently there is a lot of research going on, a lot of reaching out to people and trying to set everything up so that when the world reopens or at least when parts of the US reopen, we're ready to go and start filming and get content out there as quickly as we can. Have you had much news from the from Australia, from the family here as to how they're coping? Uh, I think, look, as far as COVID goes, 
everything is fine. Uh, when the riot started, um, that was very stressful for my dad. And I can understand he had tried to convince me to go home when COVID became a thing, but I had just landed back in the US and I wasn't about to leave my dog, my apartment and everything else to go back to Australia, not knowing when I would be able to get back here. Um, and so then the riot started and he actually alerted me to the first really violent riots that were happening. And we didn't speak on the phone. I think that would have been too stressful for him. So it was all via text message. And then once we really got into the riots, I would send voice messages every day for him, giving him an update on what to expect to see on the news. Because the other thing is living, living through something like this is one thing. And then seeing what the Australian media media is reporting is actually something very different. And I was following the Australian media and what they were reporting on. And it looked like all of LA was on fire. We were all going to perish. And it wasn't quite the case. There were, the riots were happening in certain areas on particular days and all hell would break loose in those areas. And then the next day, a different area was targeted. And the other thing that I don't think the Australian media was really um, getting across is the fact that the looters and the rioters were very different to the protesters. They were two very different factions and the looters were just taking advantage of the fact that the police were otherwise engaged with the protesters gotcha. and then doing what they were doing. Well, listen, I'm glad we've had a chance to, uh, to catch up. I apologise once again about the ticket for the Logies, but promise me we can do this again and uh, to get a bit more of an update on what's happening, not only in Hollywood, but what's happening in the rest of the United States as well. Absolutely, I would love to. And as far as the Logies go, there is always next year. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Nat. Thanks, George. Bye-bye.